Hello, I'm Ellen Ryan and I work for Technology Services Group, an IT consulting firm in Chicago that focuses on content management implementations. Time and time again, we have found that search plays a key role in acceptance of content management systems. Users of all types, authors, approvers, consumers, spend a lot of time searching for content. This is especially true in systems where content consumers are a majority of the users. I'm going to be demonstrating three different front-end solutions that run on Documentum platform. Documentum Webtop, built on the Web Development Toolkit. D2, the latest interface available from EMC on Documentum. And HPI, TSG's High Performance Interface Solution. For all three applications, I will be demonstrating the executing of a search, followed by the viewing of search results. I will then go back into each application and I will demonstrate refining the search as well as advanced search results features. Here I have the Documentum Webtop application up. Within Webtop, as well as the other two applications I will be demonstrating, you have the ability to execute a full text search as well as a properties based search. While a full text search feature is necessary in a content management solution and very helpful, I find that most of my clients only use this full text search option when they cannot find what they are looking for. Because when they execute a full text search, it is often like a Google search where you get a lot of noise or documents back that you have to sift through. So for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to be focused on property-based searching. To access the property search within Webtop, I will click this down arrow and click on the advanced button. Up pops a window where I need to build out my search. The first thing that I will do here is select my object type. Here I am displayed a list of all the object types in the system. If I would like to choose to limit this to only a couple of object types that really are specific to my application, I would need to customize a search component to limit the document types that are displayed here. As you can see when I select it, all of the document types in the list complain, contain the display name followed by the internal database name that is used within the system. After selecting my object types, my list of properties will refresh and display the properties that are applicable to my document type. For the purposes of this demo, I'm going to scroll up and select and search by document number. Here, once again, all properties are displayed, including more internal properties that are used internally within the application. If I would like to have those removed, I would need to customize a JSP page that is associated with the search component. After selecting my property, I will select my operator and I am displayed a list of pro operators. I think the most common one is contains, so I will leave it at contains and say that my document number contains TSG. Next, I can add additional properties by clicking on this link here and I can select a property name and I can continue to do so. I can specify to either and or or these properties together. If you're creating a complex query and you are anding or oring and oring in the same query, the order of operations can get tricky. So users definitely need to understand the impact. For right now, I would like to add a a date property and though the date properties are not listed up here they're all listed down here so I'm going to remove this and select my approved date property I'm going to say it's between two dates um, September 12, 000, 2012 and 2014 so I'll select my date and here I need to scroll through each month to get back to September of 2012. And then I'll say the other date I will set it to is September 17th, 2014. And now that I am done entering in my search criteria, I will click search. My search is executed. My search result, my search criteria window closes 
and I am displayed a list of my search results in this window. This is the new D2 version 4.2 interface. As you can see, it has a updated look from the previous version, including an update to many of the search capabilities. It still has the ability to execute a full text search right here. If I click on the magnifying glass with a plus symbol on it, I will be displayed a pop-up window similar to the window I saw in WebTop where I can build a search like I just demonstrated. The new DocD2 interface also contains the ability to search using pre-configured search forms. These search forms are usually targeted towards a specific document type or set of document types that share common properties. In the interface here, you can see I have multiple search forms configured where I could perform different searches against different types of documents. We'll be executing a search against the SOPs. I will first enter in that my name should contain TSG, similar to what I did last time. The red star indicates a required field, so it's telling me I have to select a document type. This is all configurable when I set up my form. And lastly, I would like to specify my approval date. Within this search form, I cannot specify a range. However, I have configured this approval date to state that whatever date I enter in here is that date through the current date. So the date must be after whatever date I enter. Just like WebTop, I need to scroll back to get to September of 2012. And then I will scroll down here and state that I would like to execute my search. In this window here pops up my search results. These windows are all configurable and I can move them to different locations and change my screen display that way. One thing that is nice to point out is that my search results are displayed while my search criteria are up on the screen. This will be especially nice when I go to refine my search in the next demonstration. The last thing I'd like to point out here is that if you are a client that might have a large amount of document types, say 50 or so, you might, and, you, and each of these document types had unique properties, the number of search forms could get large very quickly. So you would want to find a creative way to maybe limit the different search forms and target them target a set of search forms towards a specific user group rather than trying to display 50 or so search forms to each of your users. I will now demonstrate that same search in the HPI interface. HPI has the concept of tracks. A track is a grouping of document types with a common business purpose. Here I am in, in the insurance track and I have different document types that I can search on related to insurance. As I switch between document types, my search properties change. For our demonstration, we will be searching on the Control Documents tab, Task, and Control Documents Doc Type. Here, I will enter in, I could enter in a full text search, but I will enter in my properties based search, the same one we've been doing. Document number contains TSG and I will specify an approval date. Here I click on my initial date and I can change between the years and bounce around between old years pretty easily. I'll now go back and set it to today's date. I also have the ability, here I have more fields, where I can display additional properties. These additional properties can be hidden and only displayed if the user needs to see more options. This allows me to keep my initial search screen sleek and easy to navigate. All the properties that I entered here will be anded together and every property is a contain. So it will, my document number contains TSG. This is similar to the search form and the search that was executed in D2. Let me scroll down. I will execute my search and I will get my search results here in my right hand pane. Notice that I can still see 
my search criteria while viewing my search results. I will now demonstrate re refining a search as well as some advanced search features in WebTop. Here we have my search results and I am going to go in and edit my search by clicking on this edit link. Up will pop my search criteria window where I can further refine my search. It does pop up and obstruct the view of my search results. Here, what I would like to do is add another property and search where title contains disaster. I will now scroll down and re-execute my search, and my search results are displayed. If you notice before, my columns are reset to the default col columns when I re-execute my search. I can change which columns are displayed by clicking on this button here and I can choose to display additional columns by moving over properties. This property list by default displays all of the default documented properties. If I want to display custom properties in this list, I would need to customize this screen. Now, items such as lifecycle stake and modifier are displayed. I can sort any of these columns by clicking on the title. I can choose to save any of my search results to a favorites list for quick access later on. Finally, I have the ability to save this query. If I save this query, it will show up in my saved searches and at any time I could double click on it and my search results will be re-displayed to me. I will now demonstrate refining a search in the D2 interface. Since we used the search form, it is still displayed on my screen with my search criteria as well as my search results. I'll go in and refine my search criteria to say that I also want to filter to only return documents that contain disaster in the title. And I will re-execute my search. My search results are displayed to me. I can click on the column header to sort them in ascending, any of the columns to set, sort them in ascending or descending order. I also have the filter option available here and I can filter it further by entering in part of a text and now it will filter it the list down to anything that contains the number 10 in the object name field. I can clear that filter I also have the ability to add documents to a favorites list. If I add them to a favorites list, they will display on my favorites tab and allow me for quick access to my documents. Within my favorites tab, as well as my search results, I have the ability to modify which columns are displayed. I can do that by clicking on the arrow and maybe removing modified and adding an author property. And now my search results have been updated. I also have the ability to export my search results to Excel. And finally, within D2, I do have the ability to create and re-execute saved searches. That widget is not displayed in this D2 configuration, but that functionality is available. Lastly, I will demonstrate how to refine a search in HPI. Here I have my search results on my right and my search criteria on my left. To further refine my search results, I simply select another field. Here I will choose to only display effective documents. That will be ended with the entries I already have entered. And when I click search, my search results will be refined. Once I have my search results, I have the ability to move columns around by simply dragging and dropping them. I can sort information by clicking on the header of any column to sort in ascending or descending order. I have the ability to add property data to be displayed by clicking on the entries in this pop-up modal. I'll choose to display the approval date 
and hide the modify date. And my entries are, my selections are immediately reflected in my window. In addition, I have the ability to perform actions on a single document or a group of documents. If I select documents, I have the ability to, in this case, download all of them into a zip file. I also have the ability to export the search results to an Excel file. I also have this filter feature up at the top. Whatever I type in the filter box, that, that text will be used and it will be filtered and that text will be looked at in all the fields that are displayed and anywhere SAMP is displayed, that entry will be filtered and displayed now to me. If I clear that, I'll re-execute my search. All information will be displayed to me again. Within this interface, I also have the ability to save searches and retrieve my data for my saved searches. And lastly, I have the ability to add documents to a collection. Here I have the ability to add this TSG 102 to a collection. I'll choose to add it to my control documents collection. A collection is like a favorites list, but allows me, but the HPI functionality allows me to have multiple favorites lists or multiple collections. If I click on my collections link at the top, here I am shown that I have two collections currently created. If I click on George's control docs collection, you'll see that TSG 102 document that I just added was added to this collection. And those are some of the advanced search results features that are available through HPI. I hope that you found this review of the search functionality available with WebTop, D2, and HPI helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please contact me at lnr at tsgrp.com. Thank you for your time.